Hi guys, it's Mackenzie, and I was coming back for Veda again. Um, something I'm just briefly going to talk to you guys about today is delayed cord clamping versus cord blood banking. So these are two different things that I didn't know a whole lot about, and I still don't know everything that I probably could know about it. But I was doing a little bit of research and finding that a lot of companies are really pushing you to store your baby's cord blood when they're born and save it for like if they have any big disease or anything like that because this blood is has all this awesome stuff in it. It's so beneficial to them that they save it for later in life if they ever had a health problem that they could then give them this blood. So, and then with delayed cord clamping at birth, um, basically you aren't clamping the cord so soon and you're letting all of that blood go to your baby before you clamp it. Therefore, there's no blood to store and save, but the baby's getting all that blood right then. So, this is interesting to me, the differences going on here. And... Basically, the conclusion that I've come to is you are basically having either prevention or a cure. That's the way I see it. So you can clamp the cord, cut the cord quickly, save all the blood for a rainy day if your kid gets some kind of illness and they find it beneficial to have it. Or you can not clamp the cord right away, let the blood pump to the baby, give them everything that they need right then, and they have it already, and it's like 30% more blood that your baby gets, and higher iron, and you are helping your kid quite a bit, and you're giving that all to them right then. So in my opinion, if it's something that the blood could help with later, it's something that if they have right then could help to prevent it. So... I wonder, I don't think there is any studies, but I wonder if the chances are any less with people who do delay cord clamp of the certain illnesses and diseases that they're trying to bank this blood for. And also, delayed cord clamping is free. You say, hey, I don't want to clamp the cord right away. I'm going to let it all get to baby. And that's it and that's what you do and your baby gets their blood and it's their blood anyway it's not cord blood really that blood was used for the baby and yeah up until that point until they were born you give the baby their blood for free or you can pay the, you know thousand plus dollars depending on what you do to cut the cord quickly save the blood deprive the baby without 30 percent of blood at birth and then you know maybe a few years down the road when they have some big health problem you'll have that blood to give them so yeah that's basically what I found and I didn't realize when we were deciding on delayed cord clamping that that basically meant if you delay cord clamp you are not banking cord blood um, I didn't realize that although banking cord blood wasn't something I was that interested in in the first place but yeah, basically you do choose one or the other, or neither, I guess. Um, but yeah, and that's what I found. Basically, you can give it all to your baby then, or you can pay a bunch of money and have it just in case for later. And I hope that is helpful for anyone who was considering between the two. And um, yeah, see you in my next video. Bye.